tell me. I'll, yes, sir. Uh, what can I do? Okay, great. All right, just wait notification. Okay, boom. There we are. Perfect. And we are live. I want to thank everyone for tuning in to a very special edition of Off the Record on the People's Podcast this evening. We have an incredible guest with us tonight, one who's going to give us some amazing information as, as well as inspiration, and that is none other than a student minister uh, and a great activist, uh, the top fisherman himself, Brother Abdul Malik Muhammad. Assalamu alaikum, sir. Alaikum salam, black man. Yes, sir. This means, and it, this means a lot to myself, my family, and the viewing audience of the People's Podcast that you would take time out of your busy schedule to come give us some um, enlightenment. The first question that we have for you, sir, is recently on Facebook, it was trending. Everywhere I looked on Facebook, I kept seeing a brother in an in a FY uniform and in a suit all over Atlanta. Everybody wanted to know why was this brother here and the spirit shifted in the, in, the energy shifted in the whole South when you came down here. What took place uh, with your visit? And um, yes, sir, what, what, how, did, how did the visit come about and what was the visit for? You know, it's a brother that's a part of praying and fasting, the foundation to success, which was birthed out of the quarantine situation that the government gave us. And we wanted to stick around and, and start working things out, even though we were quarantined. So Zoom was a blessing for us. And a brother joined on. You know, back in the 70s, and he had a big program going on every year in Atlanta uh, uh, for the youth. Mm. Um, I forgot the name of it, but it's every year. It was the 12th anniversary of it. It's, called, it's almost like, you know, March Madness kind of situation because they have a bunch of different games that day. But he asked me, would I come down there and speak to the youth? Mm. You know? And I'm, I was coming, you know, the man been fasting for 90 weeks. Of course I'm coming. The man is dedicated and the man is a devout Christian. So I, so I came down there, me and about 30 something of the delegation. And we went down there and we represented the life giving teachings of the most honorable Muhammad. I came in there in the beginning having horns coming out of my hands, but there was the hiding of its power. So I spoke to them in, 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 from, a, from a straight tie, you know, and, and, and I never really opened in the name of a law because I didn't want to scatter the flock, you know? So I'm coming in as a thief in the night, coming in without observation. So I did that and we got a great return. We got like 300 brothers that we're, we're actually mentoring. We gave about 2,500 uh, postcards for mentorship because mm. if we, hook in the mouth. We ain't got to reel them in right now. As long as the hook in the mouth and we got yes, the line, reel them in at the time is necessary. So that's what brought us down there. All praise to so, uh, Yes, sir. People showing you love all across the country. My sister Naima, um, the sister who's, of course, your assistant who's helping, who's been helping put this together since the greetings, as well as sister uh, Dorothea. People just showing you love all across the country. Can't wait to put this on YouTube. Please let us know what city you all are watching all across the country. Thank you very much. Yes, sir. Now, Brother Abdul Malik, when you go into these high schools and you're speaking to youth in general, but specifically the black male, who, as we know, is under attack, or everybody, but specifically that young black man, what do you tell them to give, to give them some inspiration? You know, the scripture speaks about the war in heaven. Mm. Michael and his angels fought against Satan, the dragon and his angels. But they, what intrigued me most about that scripture, that it said that they overcame the dragon and his angels by the blood of the lamb and the word of their testimony. That's right. That's right. 22 year old, I couldn't understand that at all because anytime you say war, I'm thinking World War I, II, three, Vietnam War. I'm thinking in that map. But as I grew in my Islam under the light of the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan, I started understanding the real battlefield was on the mind. And so when I come in there with the script that Allah wrote for me to be a testimony during 15 years in the feds, I found that Allah was doing something to make me more favorable in the eyesight of the youth. 
So when I go to the youth and I tell them, look, man, you want to shoot and kill. Well, you got to do the 15 years in the penitentiary. You may do life. And here is what happens when you go in there. And I give them the story and I show them the before and after picture with me. And I say, you don't have to go and make the mistake. I am your mistake. Mm, mm. Come back to you to give you this information to impede your on long, your onward march towards the hells of the belly of the beast. And they find, and I say, man, I can give you an out if you allow me to be your mentor. You see that I'm worthy to be that because I know mm. the language of people. So I overcame Satan in the heads of the youth by the blood of the lamb and the word of my testimony. And that's how they all sign up with me and I got them on lock as me and you speak, but I'm in Chicago and then ATL. Oh, oh. Yes, sir, and people showing you all love all across the country, but I do with King, people saying Newark, New Jersey is in the house. Uh, my sister Miriam says something like, thank everyone who just continues to show love all across the country to our guests, Brother Abdul Malik Muhammad. My next question, sir, is specifically the, the video of the youth praying that I saw. That was very powerful. Can you take us, can you take us through that and how that came about? When, when we got there, the brother Daniel Bugs, the one who played in the NFL for years, he introduced me to them. By the time I had got through speaking to them, you remember, I don't speak no long time. You speak long to them, you, you lost, you did. So I speak to them five minutes at best, 10, and I'm done. I put the end to it, although I got a whole lot I can teach. But it ain't the time. I'm trying to win you right now. I'm trying to raise the dead like Abraham. That's right. When he asked Allah, how do you raise the dead? And Allah said, do you not believe? He said, sure, I believe, but out of my heart might be at ease. I want to do this right when you tell me to go out and get it. He said, take, take four birds, which is people. Yes, sir. Tame them. Then place them back in their houses, what, what, what we'll say on mountains, and call them, and they're inclined to you. So when I go in there, I give them five to ten minutes at best. And if I can't tame you in five to ten, then I ain't got the presence of God in me. That's mm. all it takes. And after that, I locked them in. And when I got through, the brother said, brother, will you pray with me? Mm. Mm. Can you pray with us? Mm. And I said, because I never push prayer. I never put nothing connected to religion to those to these youngsters as popping pills, drinking lean. And, and running around with women and smoking loud and doing what they do. I don't push that religious stuff mm. because I'm not trying to, I'm coming in without, I'm coming in without observation. Yes, I don't sir. want them to know I'm acting exact. I want them to know that I come from where you come from. And the brother asked, can I pray? Will you pray with us? And you got the video where the brother prayed. And the That's brother right. prayed in Corinthians. I said, go ahead, black man. And he and and he he's under my uh, uh my mentorship as me and you speak. All praises be to Allah. All praises be to Allah. Yes, sir. And brother Abdul Malik, there's mothers reach out to me constantly on a weekly basis, if not daily basis, about their children, about what's going on all across the country, inboxes, text messages, and YouTube, but specifically a recent incident where a sister reached out about her son who's in a different state. Um, if, if I want to connect you to the, the son, how can, how can people reach out to you about their children? And what do you tell someone whose child is in a different state from them? In a situation like that, I would prefer to talk to them. Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. brother, brother Joshua, until we get it, until we realize that we are Michael and his angels, until we realize we want to, Michael, the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan, one of his angels, one of his saviors, until we realize that, then you're never going to win the people. See, when I go in, I, come to, I came to Atlanta to kill. I didn't come there to party. I came out there on a mission to kill. And I'm not going to physically kill you, but I'm going to kill the, de the devil inside of you because if I get you to listen to me, the devil is dead. 
because Allah is going to screw me and through me for the benefit of the black man that I'm speaking to. And that's what happens. So if you get a brother from another state and he gets on the phone, you got to have the right words and you can't teach talk his ear off. Give it to him very short and powerful and the black man will be anticipating your call. Hey, thank you, Reverend Mr. Abdul Malik. And thank you, everyone, who has shown love all across the country. My sister, Nathan says, all praise due to Allah. My next question is, oh, the video with the cash. We saw how you were giving a cash prize to, to the different students or the different athletes, student athletes. How did that come about? Well, the, uh, the brother who's in NFL, Brother Daniel Bugs, he had an essay. He put an essay together where they wrote an essay about, you know, some stuff on but my secretaries, we, they go ahead and judge them. And we had two winners. It was four participants, but two winners, one from this, this side of the fence and the one from the other side. And uh, they won, but it was two losers. So I was said, okay, they want to give them a check. I said, I ain't giving them a check. I'm giving them, I'm giving it the way they like it. They like stripper money. Mm, mm, so mm. I'm going to give it to them in bundle. So I put it in the, in, the, in, the, in the bag and I came in and I gave it to them 500 in them singles. And you should, if you look at the video, look at his face. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Language of the people, you're not going to be successful with them. The hell with what you want to do. Get out of the way. You got to die and, and start. Paul said, I have become all things that I may win some. And that's what you saw me doing when I gave him the 500 and hundreds. And I did the same thing with the other one. And the other two that lost, I gave them 100 apiece. Because ain't no losers. Of you all won. All oh, praise. You to all love. Love. Yes, sir. People showing you love all across the country. Um, saying if you need information, call the phone number 818-614-1902. Yes, sir. We have many questions. People have been asking questions all day. Okay, another video of you pulling up in a Lamborghini, hopping out FY uniform. What what is the what is the significance and how did the people re oh, I saw how they reacted, but for the people who didn't see, how did the people react and respond when they saw this? Master Farah Muhammad came pushing silk. He came with something foreign. That's right. That was 1931 in 2022. The black man came with silk. But he came with something foreign. And they bit just like they bit 90 plus years ago. Mm. See, if you don't come luxury, money, good homes, and friendship in all walks of life, if you don't come pushing that element, stop trying to fish for the people because you got the wrong bait. And that's why many of you lose in that category when it comes down to fishing. It's not like you don't want to fish. It's not like you don't want to bring the people in. You're just not using the proper bait. So when you don't get a bite for so long, it turns you off. The next thing you know, you're going back and forth to the mosque without a guest for five years, ten years. Because not that you don't like it. I just don't know how to do it. That's why Abdul Malik on deck demonstrates the possibilities of man. So you learn if you need assistance in your city. It ain't nothing but a telephone call away and we fly in. All praises be to Allah. All praises be to Allah. Yes, sir. Okay. So you're saying that there's a bait that the believers and the people who want to help the people in the community out with should have and should use. And you teach that you teach this this process. Yes, sir. Without a doubt. Because if you got that, you it's half the battle. When you ride up in a bins of Bentley, a rose, ghost, a, a, a dawn, or a Lambo, a Ferrari, a Porsche. If you ride up in that, you jump out. The, you, you just want them to listen because you got the, the voice of God coming through you if you're a studious brother and you pray and you fast and you unleash them 5,000 havoc-making angels that Allah promised you if you go to battle with them, he'll assist you with them. If you got all that, all you got to do is get out. And if they say, oh, man, it's over with for me. When, 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 with me, it's over with. Satan is dead. Yes, sir. So, so, well, I'll do my, so are you saying that when people, when, they, when, they, when the young men and women say, 
that's my car or how did you get that that's all it takes that's all it takes you go in there and then i said man you can get it too if you saw the the car that the flyer that i gave them i told them you can be a millionaire by 21 if you got the mentor on your team mm. you 16 17 so all you got see it's it's easy to deal with them because they knew wine skin it's hard you can't pour new wine and old wine skin. They're going to argue with me and John all day long. They broke. They, they don't fish. Don't pray. Don't fast. You're just talking because you've been memorizing a bunch of lessons. But when you get the youngster, yes, sir. No, sir. Yes, sir. No, sir. That's who we want, brother. I'm telling you. Trust me when I say. Oh, praise the due to a lot. Yes, sir. And people all across the country are showing you love. Brother Robin. Sister uh, Corey, some Lakeland family, people just who show love, who've never watched people's podcasts. I thank you all. We have a plethora of questions for our brother, student minister, Abdul Malik Muhammad. And before we finish, so we have a quick 60 second commercial break for all of the sponsors of the people's podcast. Um, today, I want to I want to make sure that we give them a shout out for this month. Uh, all of the people who've been consistent in supporting my brother Rashad, street premier media production. He has a 4K camera and a drone. He does an excellent job of television and film editing. My sister Miriam, ABC I Love Me, children's book, coloring book, and now Spanish book, all three available on Amazon. My sister Naima, Stay On Point Dance Academy, LLC. She teaches ballet virtually to young girls all across the country and right here in the studio in Atlanta, Georgia. Rock Communications, if you're working on a book and you need copy editing, project management, content development, or media relations, please reach out to Rock Communications. Also, student minister Robert L. Muhammad out of the Southwest region. He does conflict mediation, squashing the beef out of Austin, Texas. His wife, Sister Fudia Muhammad, children of the Most High, giving birth to a God and the science of child rearing. Please get her book. Fashion Guides, Urban Street Wear for men and boys. He'll keep you dripping in the best of fashion. 314-329-6009. Brother Kenneth, bow tie making short in there. He'll ship bow ties to you anywhere in this nation. Asiatic Mind, Sister Sherry Muhammad, teaching young, teaching STEM to young kings and queens all across the country. Please sign your children up to AsiaticMinds.com. Taj Hollywood, our brother out of the West Coast, um, sixth chemistry episode. He does a phenomenal job with his YouTube television show, Keep It Hood, helping others overcome depression. He does an excellent job. Also, uh, student minister out, uh, brother of Albany, brother Aaron Muhammad, he helps you with Respectful Life Center. He helps you with stress management, credit repair, restorations, Elevated Places, Inc., 229-334-1474, personal wellness, um, mental and spiritual wellness as well. Thank you very much, sir. Dr. Henry M. Carter, Ken Henry's Turkey Legs right here in Atlanta, Georgia. Brother Rashad Muhammad out of Chicago, COVID-19 Disinfecting Cleaning Services. My Father's Book of Soldier and the Movement of Christ, abdulsharif.com. And last but not least, my two books, Cleopatra, which is a children's book, and No Father, No Excuse, both of which are available on Amazon. Right back to our brother, student minister, Abdul Malik Muhammad. Now, speaking of my father's book, sir, a life that you've lived, 15 years in the, in the federal penitentiary, you come out, change your life. You, it's a, it's a, it's a, it, I'm an actor and I'm a writer. Your, your, your life writes itself. Will you ever write a book, sir? Yeah, yeah, if you assist me. <laughs> I'm, yes, not a, I'm not a, I got a documentary out, Transforming the Mansion, uh, that depicts the whole 15 years, how I got there, what I went through as a child that, that led me up to this and my life and journey through the belly of the beast until I got out. You know, so I have that documentary and I have like six more documentaries that I did since I've been home about fishing cities and states, you know? So, uh, oh, praise this be to a lot. In okay, great. Time. Yes, sir. Now, our next question for you is, oh, the fireside chat that we saw on the video on, on your Facebook. Everybody, make sure you go and, and uh, look at it. It was so many videos I was getting, trying to set my tech team up to make sure we saw it. The fireside chat, when you sat with the young people, uh, what, what brought that about? When I sat with the... The football team? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That, that was my mission. That, that's what made me come down there because he had those teams set up. At, he had two on Wednesday, one at 4 and one at 6.30. He had one on Thursday. He had a panel on Friday, and he had the big event on Saturday. Mm -hmm. So I like to say we played 
four quarters, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. And yes, on the four quarters playing football, when we go in there, we go in there in the name of Allah. So when I see the youngsters in there, he opens up and lets me speak to them. And that's where I get the chat off with them. But I know what to nail them with. They're only 15, 16, 17 years old. I'm a grown man. If I can't capture that kingdom and kill that devil that's impeding the progress, then it's, it's nothing wrong with the youth. It's something wrong with me. But long as I'm prayed up and I'm fasting, I'll nail that. So I, I tell them exactly what I know what they want to hear. And I give it to them and I extract and then we go away, go away with that. But we have all their phone numbers and we got we win, we win the coaches. So the coach gives me the whole list of names and numbers. I don't hmm. need them to sign up. All we need is the right person on the phone telling them, yeah, this is the brother who spoke at the football game and we're gonna try to do something for you, blah, blah, blah. And next thing you know, man, I'm with you, I'm with him. New wine skin, come on, yes, man. Sir. Yes, sir. Okay, great. Now, I, I also wanted to speak to you about the panel, the way you, uh, that panel discussion, the clip that the sister sent me, I mean, you just handled it so well. Uh, what advice did you give and what advice would you give in a panel, a setting like that with different religions, different um, uh, backgrounds, but able to articulate the teachings in, in a creative way? Okay. If, if it was a, if it was a, see, prayer and fasting, the foundation to success, it consists of Christians, Muslims, Sunnis, Hebrews, gangbangers, those who don't want no, nomin no denomination, you know, it, that's why I opened up that floodgate so that I can catch more fish. And if they stay around the servant to the king, brother Abdul Malik, then they're going to be affected by the teachings. If it's in you, I don't mm. need to spit. I can live it. Mm. And mm. I it. And ultimately, I win the panel. I won the panel there by a lot. Right. You see them? They were, they were, they were not. They were talking about their education, their master's degrees, and things like that. I understood that, but that's the road. That's the road. That's the road that a lot took them down. I went right in and told them I'm from the University of Hard Knocks. I didn't come up like them. I didn't come out of the Ivy Leagues, of Spelman, Howard, and these different universities. I come up the rough side of the mountain and here's my education, you know? So I, I and I win them over. I love when I'm on a panel with a bunch of educated uh, brothers and sisters, you see? Because I know that that audience out there, heart's desire is to be a thug, a gangster, a shooter, uh, 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 that guy. Bling bling. I know the audience is there. The audience is right for picking for the black man of Asia. And he surely, they're surely not right for picking picking for those who are with these Ivy League uh, uh college degrees, master's degree, like Brother Rizza say, your master degree. You know. <laughs> yes, sir. I understand. Okay, yeah. well, Abdul Malik, I wanna I wanna uh double back right there. You said servant to the king. Where mm -hmm. did that uh, come from, and how did how did you start implementing that in your um, approach? Well, the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan, who is the Messiah in these days and times, oh, what about gave me the name Abdul Malik. Abdul means servant. Malik means king. Mm. Servant to the king. I am the Minister Louis Farrakhan's top fisherman. Mm. Although some of you may say he doing his own thing, that's because you have warped vision. Hmm. So when you say that, I have a problem with you saying it. I continue to march and push a hard line because at the end of the rainbow, my leader knows exactly how I move and he knows exactly what type of results I bring home. And that's what it's all about waking up the black man, resurrecting the black man. And I want to be in that number when the saints go marching in. Yes, sir. Well, I spoke, I wanted to address the advice and the instructions that the most Honorable Minister Farrakhan gives you because the result is 
you going to get the people by the masses and traveling all around the country. Every time I see you on social media, it, there's always a positive energy with the prayer and fasting that we want to go into uh, coming up as well. But what specifically did he tell you? What is it that that's in that he's guiding you and directing you that keeps you going like that? What 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 did he say to you? He told me when he gave me my name. He said, "You got a big name now, son." He said. And when you got a big name, you got to live up to it. Mm. That's all. Mm. And I, I took charge of that post and all temple property in view. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, great. And because people are definitely coming. Thank you for showing love all across the country. Yes, sir. My next question for you is why prayer first? And then why fasting? We'll do it with the prayer. Why, why is prayer important? Because the minister, if you go back into the 80s, he told them, if you can't pray, if God is not for you, then get away from me. Mm, mm. Holy Quran says prayer keeps one away from evil and indecencies. And certainly the remembrance of Allah is the greatest force. And Allah says in the Holy Quran that I would not even care for you if it wasn't for your prayers. So it has to be paramount. In the Christian book, they ask, what's the greatest commandment? And it is, and, and it is said to love thy God with all their heart, their mind, their soul, and thy strength. Yes, sir. And if you pray, how do you love God? Because you can't even communicate with him. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And fasting, fasting is, is, is so tremendous because it not only, the most humble Muhammad said in How to Eat to Live, book two, page 54. He said, fast three days times three days. Fast nine days. He said, fast 27 days. Mm. Fasting is good for you as it purifies your mind, and your thinking, and your bloodstream. He said, if you make fasting a habit you will never get sick and they asked me oh messenger said fast three days of the week month why is you saying this i said because you don't read you mm. can't read the allegorical aspect of the the life-giving teachings through how to eat to live book one and two if you read carefully and catch the allegorical he said if you make fasting a habit you will never get sick well i made it a habit i put every week I did what the messenger instructed me to do, and I can bear witness that he ain't never lied because I ain't never been sick. Mm, mm, mm. So these are the these are the weapons that I use prayer and fasting, and it opens me up and purifies me and makes my word come through clear because I ain't clogged up with all of the jerk chicken and the foolishness that we eat that clogs us up. But you know, I love it too. Now I know. <laughs> I understand that it's bad now. I'm saying just give it a break sometime. Yes, All sir. praises be to Allah. Yes, yes sir. sir. All praises to Allah. My sister Diamond, thanking you, Sister Andy Ayas Muhammad, and um, Sister Ayanna Crawford. So many people showing you love, Sister Denise. Um, I'm going to butcher that last name, but thank you all of the believers who are showing love, Brother Michael Lake, well, people just showing love all across the country. Sister Denise, everyone, thank you all for showing it. Yes, sir. My next question, uh, Brother Abdul Malik, is with someone who is new to the concept of praying and fasting, what would you say to them? I would say to them, crawl before you walk. I say, it, it, in Ramadan, we don't eat in the daylight hours. And try that first. Know that you're going to eat when the sun go down and deal with the fury furnace that's going to erupt in your system, in your kingdom, that's going to burn up idols and images mm. that we're told not to worship. But we don't know we're worshiping them until we deny ourselves. And then the symptoms and the, the withdrawal start kicking in. And ultimately, you will find out that, damn, I ain't as strong as I thought I was. But I would say to those who are just starting, try 
to eat in the morning and don't eat again until the sun go down. And that's a fast. You already fast when you were sleeping for the eight hours. That's one fast. And then you go all day when the daylight hours. That's another fast. It's all in the 24 hours. So you take the eight that you slept and the eight that you just didn't eat or maybe more than that. Then you think you almost did 24 hours that day. So you start something. I ain't trying to hurt the people. Allah said he desires ease for the black man and, they, and, and the black woman. You know, don't try to jump in the fight with me. I'm 149 weeks in a row fasting every week. So don't get in here with me. You know, get in there with you because you got to fight your own fight. You can't fight my fight. Oh, hmm. praise. Oh, praise due to a lot. Yes, sir. And now when you say that you were in the fight for 149 uh, weeks, what exactly, like, how does your, how does the average day go and the average week go for Brother uh, Student Minister Abdul Mala? Well, it's like this. We fast the first three days of every month, the first Thursday. That's 72 hours. 72 hours cleanses your white blood cells and causes them to die and new ones re reassure themselves and come out. I do that not every month. I do that four times a month. While hmm. most once a month, we I do four times because I know the toxins that we're eating from this European, he's killing us on all fronts. I know that I can't eat and fast three days this, this week and eat like a wolf the next three weeks mm. and think that that poor is not gonna give me cancer, high blood pressure, mess up my kidneys and put me on a dialysis machine. Oh, please just wait around, just keep waiting. And when it hits you and knock on your door because something went wrong and didn't feel right in your body, Remember that Abdul Malik gave you a warning shot that came from the messenger. Save your own life, man. I can't be there with you, but I'm not going to just indulge in a bunch of eating all week long because I respect the food better when I fast three days. It becomes hmm. more, it becomes more uh, impactful to me. And then it becomes more knowledge of it that it really ain't, it really ain't for what I had it for at first. It's really for just to sustain my life, but that's what I do. But well, don't forget the five, forget the five prayers. Now don't get don't get slick. Now you ain't forget <laughs> when you over you overdraft when you overdraft that that count at Chase Bank. You run over there and pay it up. So if you if you somewhere you can't make your prayers, make sure you run back like Chase Bank. You go get at God, the God of this world, His just do. The scripture said, render to Caesar what is Caesar's and render unto God what is God. Don't you miss your prayers. If you do, you go back and make it up. I got a couple to make up now. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, great. And people are showing you love all across the country. Uh, first two minutes, Abdul Malik, I just want to read some of the comments. Um, okay, so I'm so grateful to Allah for allowing me the transformation. I've been in this group now, 79 weeks prayer and fasting. Diana Crawford, all praises to Allah. I've been praying for fasting 102 weeks for 72 hours each week. Great advice, one step at a time. Um, Dion Williams says, I'm a Christian of the group and I have completed my 139th week of praying five times a day and fasting three days a week. Um, Ayanna Cross, I lost 21 pounds from doing prayer and fasting each week. People are just bearing witness all in the comments. It's a Majid. I used to run from the three day monthly fast like Flojo in the opposite direction. But now people are stepping up. And they're seeing the blessings of a lot of people just showing you love all across the country, prayer and fasting. Now, how can the viewing audience and the listening audience be a part of prayer and fasting, uh, sir? You know, I'm going to say this to him. Jesus said to the people, count the cost before you come and follow me. Mm. He said, if you don't understand what I'm saying, let me tell you. He said, if a man is building a building and he doesn't count the cost, he may start building and get halfway finished and run out of money and not be able to keep, not be able to finish the building. And someone else will catch it in foreclosure and he'll lose money on that. He said, likewise, the man came to him and said, let me go back and, and, and tarry with my family. And then I'll come back and follow you. He said, this is no. He said, no, this ain't no. Go there. This, the kingdom of God is at hand now. Whatever's at home got to be there or you're going to come with me. 
So the man went away and got, and he discouraged him. Then the rich man came and said, let me follow you. He said, man, the, the foxes got holes, the birds got nests, but the son of man ain't got nowhere to lay his head. What mm -hmm. you going to do with some of that money? And the man didn't want to break from his money, so he left. So Jesus is discouraging. And I'm going to discourage all of you. Because if you made for this fight, then you are selected by a lot of being this fight. Because you've never heard since you've been born, brother, a brother fast three days a week for 149 weeks in a row. It's three years. It's unheard of. And then you've got a party of people, a thousand other people doing the same thing. It's unheard of. The scripture said every eye, um, no eye has seen, no ear has heard, nor have you even conceived what Allah has in store for you. But I know one thing, you'll be a battle, a battleship to Satan and his angels if you start praying and fasting. But if they want to get in, you better count the cups. Because mm -hmm. it's better not know than to know and let go. Because then the wrath comes down on you heavier. Mm -hmm. So I don't want you to get yourself hurt. If you want to get in, get in with the fight and the, and, and the fight that God gave you. Because all of us got the fight in us. But the question is, how many of us are willing to separate from the Satan within in order for you to manifest? So join all you want. Call in, go with Majida, go to prayer and fasting, go to the Facebook on Thursdays and Sundays, whatever it is, but count the cost. All praises be to Allah. All praises be to Allah. Yes, sir. People showing you love all across the country. Say, Allah, walk by. Yes, sir. Abdul Akbar came up. Do Akram, do Saeed, I do Jareen. People showing you love all across the country, sir. My next question yes. for you is the um, addiction. You spoke of it earlier with people with pills, lean and loud, and just this is this is affecting all ages, but specifically the youth is who who I asked this question for. What advice would you give to them breaking addiction? You know, the children. In that addiction that they have, I used to have that addiction. When you're that young, you can kick that easy. All you need is a mentor. All you need is someone who's successful because they, the youngsters are re really keen to mimic someone that they see as successful. It's like if Jay-Z came over this, I'm taking all y'all with me. They're going to stop everything. That's the easy addiction to kick. But the real hard addiction that trumps all of them is that plate that we can't push back on. That's drug addiction. So that little addiction they got right there ain't nothing. Because if you got believers across this country know that they've been sick and they still won't stop eating, then it's not the drug, the pill, the lean, the, the, the drink or the smoking. That's the addiction. The real addiction is that hot, greasy food that you like to eat every day and sometimes two, three times a day. And you kill yourself with it. And you kill yourself with it. And you die from it. And we find what you got your heart attack. What happened to your stroke? What happened to be diabetes and coma? This, you did this to yourself. Nobody did this to you, man. Woman, you did that to yourself. So I'm just a trumpet in the wilderness mm. working king that's telling you how to eat to live, book one and two, will save your life if you imp imply or, or, or practice it in the mannerism that the example that we're giving here, prayer and fasting, it'll help you and it'll cure you. Of 90% of all disease are cured through fasting. The Honorable Muhammad, Muhammad has instructed us that. You see? Praises be to Allah. Let's get out here. Let's, let's keep our fasting going. Let's make sure that we encourage everyone from all denominations, backgrounds, that we continue to fast and pray. Yes, sir. My next question for you, uh, Brother Abdul Malik, is in Atlanta, there's a single population, brothers, sisters, maybe everybody looking for love. How important um, is it that in the person that we find our significant other, and they are praying and fasting too? Does that correlate? Hey, Amen. If you don't pray and fast, and your woman, if you pray and fast and you meet a woman that ain't, you marrying the devil. Mm. Why you say that, Abdul Malik? You're so evil. Yeah, I know. <laughs> because she, 
you 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 you're not giving her any demands, particularly if you're NGT and I'm an FOI, and I come to you, says you pray, yeah, I do it once a day, sometimes twice. I said, you know, the scripture says in the the the, the prayer book, you know, he says seven with the refuge prayer, and you only doing once. So what are you doing? You negotiating a deal with the God within you? Mm, mm. you got a deal? I said, because I do five a day and I fast every week and I would like to have a woman that's already in the fight, even though I like you. Mm. But I would prefer that you start because you what I want. But I can't take you as you are. Mm. God can take us as he are, but this black man can't because I ain't got no time for you. I'm already been in relationships. I need a prayer and a fasting woman. So when I'm fasting and I'll be like, man, I should just drink me a smoothie. You're like, no, you ain't. We fasting. I need a woman like that. Mm. I don't want a woman to tell me, yeah, you right. We've been fasting for many months now. We can get us a smoothie. I don't want none like that. I want one that's going to be like, no, sir, brother. Let's get to the end of the road, the end of the rainbow and get the pot of gold that Master Farah Muhammad has in store with us. So if you're going to pray, if you're going to fast, if you're going to get a woman or a man, you better make sure that man is dedicated to the prayer, the fasting, the jihad, which comes from the fasting. You've got charity coming in that because the more you soften your heart, the more giving you become. And chasing God and Hajj, the five pillars of Islam, is hanging on those two principles, prayer and fasting. They'll break you down. And your, your fast is going to make you fight the devil within because he's going to make you eat. And you're going to have to fight him off in order to win. He's going to show you your real addiction greater than the crackhead. It's greater than the heroin addict because they can kick their habit, but you can't kick yours. What mm. the hell? Is mm. Praises be to you. Praises be to Allah. So, well, Dumali, I have a question. So, are you saying in this, I mean, you you in Chicago, I'm in the South, and being from Naperville, but moving to Atlanta, I never knew that there was something that's, that's, to me, I think is more addictive than codeine, more than lean, and perks, zans. It's something they got, got down here called sweet tea. So you're saying the sweet tea and the coffee that people go to Starbucks and Dunkin' Donuts and the sweet tea from McDonald's, Popeye's, which is so good. You're saying it's, 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 we got to fast from that. We got to pray and fast away from the sweet tea and the coffee as well. I don't, li listen, the messenger said we can drink water or coffee that's what he said. And tea, the man. Okay, so mix a little tea, man. Okay, it's gonna be clear. Okay, but the, that's not your problem. Mm. Your problem is putting that drumstick down. Okay, <laughs> that's the problem. Cause you're not finna be drinking no tea for three days. You are gonna say, man, I'm finna eat. It's that's just a habit that they do every morning because they feel like it stimulates them and makes their day go faster and makes it makes them more effective. No problem with that. That's not okay. your problem. Okay. Your problem okay. Is that 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 egg McMuffin you got in the morning. <laughs> you that, that croissant. You know that the two donuts that you get with your coffee or your tea. Kill that and the uh, the tea and a and a and a coffee and the water. That's gonna try it. I I dare any of you try. I will show you that you are you're more addicted than the crack cocaine. Mm. I try to tell anybody, do 24 hours because they eat three meals a day. They eat all the time, snacks and everything. I catch them snacks with me. I said, what's going on, man? Is we, is we reverting? That's why we say in the, in the AANA, we say, my name is Warren. I'm a recovering addict, you know? <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Same thing with praying and fasting, man. You know, so... You know, each one of them got to learn, man. But it ain't going to be, it's not for the weak of the faint. Oh, praise the Lord. So, like, yes, sir, we have two more questions for you. People are bearing witness all in the comments all across the country. I know once we put this on YouTube, it's going to do a lot of numbers of people bearing witness. Just Alicia, I love prayer and fasting. Brother Ali, uh, Ali Muhammad, I've been praying and fasting for 111 weeks. Uh, thank you, Master Brother Muhammad. Thank you, Master Brother Muhammad. Thank you, Master Muhammad. Is with us, but Abdul Malik Muhammad, what a blessing to be a part of this family and foundation of success. Sanaya Rashid, I've been in the nation my entire life. I joined prayer and fasting success. I never fasted more than three days of a month, except for Ramadan. 
I've been praying and fasting now for 112 weeks. I also committed my life at 12 years old when I signed my letter um, to deliver our people to the Lamb of God. I thank Brother Abdul Malik for reminding me uh, to use the tools that I've been given 24 7 commitment, people, Sister Majida, Sister um, Tanai again, and just people bear witness all across the country. Uh, Sister Tracy Muhammad, uh, who always shows love, how you know. Okay, perfect, perfect, perfect. All right. Oh, that's a brother, Tracy. Okay, but yes, thanks to everyone who's showing love all across the country. Uh, my next, the last two questions that we have for you, uh, Brother Abdul Malik, is I, I often ask my guests about uh, music, what music they listen to, but you've been on before, so we know what type of music you listen to. When you're in, uh, in between and you want to unwind and listen to, I mean, watch maybe a comedy movie or a thriller or action or gangster, whatever type of movie, what type of movie do you watch to unwind, sir? Hmm. Interesting. In all actuality, brother, I don't really watch movies. Mm, mm, mm. Because it's been so long that I watch movies. If I'm with the with the men, like on a road trip or something, we may put the Wolf of Wall Street on. Okay, that's a good one. That's a good one. Okay, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Not like it's not like I want to see it. It's that when you're in Rome, you do as the Romans do. <laughs> you know, I know my people, they ain't where I am. Yes, sir. So I can't drag them up to where I am. I have to go down and, 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 and you know, assimilate a bit. So I don't wind down on that. I get, a, I get my biggest joy when I'm by myself. Mm. Because I get to see and go through the, the, the relationship with Allah, making my prayers, fasting. I'm a mission man. Yes, sir. You know, I'm obsessed with the life and teachings of the most honorable Elijah Muhammad. See, I have talent and many of us have talent. But what separates me from most is my obsession. If you're not obsessed with it, Michael Jordan was obsessed with the basketball. That's right. That's right. You see what I'm saying? Tiger Wood was obsessed with the golf ball. Sister Serena and Venus was obsessed with the tennis ball. That's right. That's, that's right. All, everyone had talent and they defeated them because of their obsession. Right. I've been the top and since I got out of prison. That was in 2003. I never lost. Why? Because what separates me from the most is I'm obsessed with it. And I don't have no 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 uh other job outside of resurrecting the dead. I may have a hobby in real estate or may day trade some, but that's hobby. I can cut that off in the blink of an eye. So oh. that's brother, all praises be to Allah. That's my 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 thing is to pray fast and fish the people in. That's my hobby. That's what I like to do. That's what I do for fun. All praises be to Allah. Yes, sir. Mission man, first people showing you love all across the country. The last question that I have for you, sir, is um, the last interview, I did a, a recent interview on Sunday with believers who were here during the departure of the Most Honorable Elijah Muhammad and their family and what they experienced with the absence of no physical leader in front of them for three years. We are coming on that same uh, trial with the Most Honorable Elijah Muhammad and being about to depart now. What do you, uh, what advice would you give to the people who are watching who now, if we don't see the most obvious little spark on physically in front of us, what should the people do without seeing him? What, what advice would you give? The most honorable Elijah Muhammad and the minister, the honorable minister Louis Farrakhan said, seek assistance through, uh, through Allah. Mm. He said, seek, seek refuge in Allah and yourself. Yes, sir. And if you're praying and fasting, I'm sorry to tell you, but you're going to go the way of the buffalo just like the people did in the first resurrection. Many of the people in the first resurrection saw the messenger as God himself. So when he departed, 100% of us fell out the nation. Right now, y'all not praying and fasting those who are not. I'm generally speaking. So if you praying and fasting, don't get excited. Just continue on. But I'm saying to you all that you are going to go the way of the buffalo like the first resurrection. If the minister is not physically present and you have nothing to fall back on because you haven't exercised, as the scripture says, physical training is of some value, but godly training has value of all things. If you don't have God in your life, you won't see some of these beautiful faces no more because they'd be in the club, 
they'll be out there doing what they want. They'll go to all the games. They'll be addicted to the world along with their food. And you'll probably have to do some janazas because they're going to kill themselves. Mm. I'm telling you, if you're not praying and fasting, you have nothing to fall back on if you don't have the minister. The minister is your lollipop. But when that lollipop dries up and goes away and you ain't got nothing to substitute it, you're going to crash and burn. So you better put a law in your life and start praying and fasting and get a real relationship with the God. Not the one that all oh, praises be for a lot, but you eat nine times a day. All oh, praises a lot, you don't fast or pray at all. All oh, praises do to a lot. You don't fit nobody in 52 weeks in a year and you ain't brought nobody to the mosque. You a dead man when the minister leaves here. And I bet that money on it because I used to bet and I don't take no fool's bet. This is a crack black and exact bet. But you, if you start praying and fasting, you have something to fall back on. And this is just to inspire you. I'm not either you build or destroy. I'm not trying to destroy you, but I'm trying to destroy the devil within you. And I'm trying to build you up so that you can come on with it and start saving your life. All praises be to Allah. Oh, praises be to Allah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Excellent teaching. And people were saying uh, real relationship with God. Jesus, Andy, Ayers, Muhammad, hook yourself with Allah. No more idol worship. System between the ominous with fire. The biggest war is the war of oneself. This is a night. People just showing you love all across the country. I can't wait to put this on, on YouTube. Brother Michael Eggs Ward. There's some people just showing you love and having very positive comments. I want to uh, thank you, Brother Student Minister Abdul Malik Muhammad, and say that ever since I've seen you, you have always been uh, a stark soldier, a real one, and always had the kind spirit to myself, my family the believers and to the people in general and the public community. I've never seen you in a down uh, spirit or in a down, having a down attitude. Your positive energy is always on 10. And I appreciate that. And I, I thank a lot on behalf of myself, my family, and the viewing audience of the People's Podcast for your sacrifices, sir, and the sacrifices of your family. And we want you to, uh, we want to let you know that anytime that you want to come on the People's Podcast to, to encourage us and to be a reminder to put that chicken wing down, that gravy, that brown stew, that whatever, that, that uh, Krispy Kreme, whatever, whatever is killing us. Uh, we thank a yes. lot for you for, for being a reminder to, uh, to us. And anytime you want to come on the People's Podcast, anything that we can do, partner. Anytime, next time you come to Atlanta, I really want to get with you in person so that we can, uh, or if I'm in Chicago, uh, figure out other ways that we can support each other. We got to do an in-person interview. And I want to encourage everyone to make sure that we support the prayer and fasting uh, line. I receive the text messages all the time, and I see the effect that it's having on the nation, on the Christian community, on the Hebrew Israelites, everyone, people that gain, everybody who's involved with, it's a, it's a powerful movement, and we support it 150% here at the People's Podcast. So I thank a lot for you, sir. We love you, uh, Brother Student Minister Abdul Malik, and we just want to encourage you to keep making the... Uh, the word bond of the most honorable Elijah Muhammad through the most honorable Muslim far kind for making his word flesh. We thank a lot for that. Thank everyone who's watching. This is Joshua Leonard Muhammad signing off with the People's Podcast. Assalamu alaikum, sir. Like slums, sir. Thank Peace. you very much, soldier.